New at five, new developments in the story we were first to break this morning. The death of a Ridgefield baby left in a hot car has been ruled a homicide. Hi, everybody. Glad you're with us tonight. I'm Darren Kramer. And I'm Ann Craig. 15-month-old Benjamin Sides died last month when he was left in the backseat of a hot car all while his father went to work. And this morning, we were first to get the results of the autopsy, quote, homicide due to hyperthermia because of environmental exposure. Well, we have been waiting for answers and calling police constantly, and today, we learn much more. There are still no charges or arrests in this case. News 8's Stephanie Simone is live tonight. She's in Ridgefield. She's been working this one all day. Stephanie? And Darren, the state's attorney, is, it's up to him whether or not charges will be filed. He says the autopsy is just one factor they look at. He declined an on-camera interview today. Meanwhile, that child's mother is on a mission to try and prevent another tragedy like this one. This precious toddler, police say, was left in his car seat while his father went to work. It's my baby. Aww. It's my baby in a day. Angelica Salzar says she watches 19-month-old Michaela every day in Ridgefield. It's a scenario she cannot grasp. Especially for the kids. The kids is, it's angels, you know. It's really angels. After about six weeks today, the autopsy results are released by the medical examiner's office. 15-month-old Benjamin Seitz died from hyperthermia due to environmental exposure. It's been ruled a homicide. With the autopsy complete, detectives met with the state's attorney in Danbury to see whether or not charges will be filed. In the meantime, Benjamin Seitz's mother started a website called The Gift of Ben, trying to share his life and how to prevent another tragedy like this one. I feel for both of them, the father and the mother. It's got to be absolutely devastating. So many community members feel like that. Many sympathize with this family. Now, we did try and talk to police. They also declined an on-camera interview, but they are continuing to investigate. We are live in Ridgefield tonight. Stephanie Simone, News 8. All right, Stephanie, thank you. We have much more on this investigation on our website at WTNH.com. We were the first to break this story this morning online, and you can learn the very latest right there on our front page.